What if Gohan killed Super Boo? How would this affect Dragon Ball Z? You'll regret your arrogance when I'm through with you! <laughs> Don't blame me if I break you. Goku! We'll just have to see about that! Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do weekly discussion about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Today's discussion is, what if Gohan killed Majin Buu? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? Now when Gohan first came down to fight Majin Buu, we all knew that he had the power to kill Majin Buu but because Gohan's a Saiyan, he let his Saiyan pride get inside his head and he decided to toy with Majin Buu and because of that, Majin Buu found an opportunity to go and fuse with Gotenks and because of that, that's where Gohan pretty much lost his advantage but what would happen if Gohan decided to enter the battlefield and end Majin Buu right there? How would this change Dragon Ball Z? So inside the discussion, I'm going to talk about how would this affect the entire Dragon Ball Z timeline, including Battle of God, Revival F, and even Dragon Ball Super. And at the end of the discussion, let me know what you guys think of how this would have affected Dragon Ball Z. So everybody, let's get right to the discussion. What if Gohan killed Super? Alright, so once when Gohan gets down to Earth and he fights Majin Buu, let's say that Gohan killed him with a powerful Kamehameha Blast. Now what would have changed inside Dragon Ball Z? Let's start from right here. The first thing that they will do is they would have gone and looked for Dende to use the Dragon Balls and wish back everything back to normal. All the damage that Buu did, they would have undo that damage with the Dragon Balls. And once when everyone's back to life, knowing Boma, after finding out what Vegeta did, how he decided to save the Earth by sacrificing his life, she would have tried to revive Vegeta with the Namek Dragon Balls. Since Vegeta has been already revived with the Earth Dragon Ball back on Namek, the only way he could come back is with the Namek Dragon Balls, which she would have done by the help of King Kai. They could have telepathically talked to the Namek Guardian and he could pretty much wish back the people that then they need to be wished back. And now once when Vegeta comes back to Earth, everybody will be living in peace. The Earth will be in peace and Gohan would have been the hero again. Now a couple things that would change from here is that the first thing that would change is Goku wouldn't earn the respect he got from Vegeta when he was fighting Kid Buu. While Goku's fighting, it made Vegeta realize that no matter how much he tries to progress, Goku always be one step ahead of him, and because of that, he had respect for Goku, and that's when he declared that, you're better than me, Goku, you're the best. But if that never happened, then he would not have no respect for Goku. So that's one loss for Goku, but one loss for us, Dragon Ball Z fan, is that we wouldn't see no Vegeta. Because since Super Buu's already dead, they would need to do fusion, and one huge loss for all the Z fans right here is that Goku would have remained dead. Old Kai wouldn't give his life to Goku, just so he could go to Earth and save the planet. The only reason he did that was because he had no choice. If Goku didn't go back down and fuse with Gohan, pretty much Super Buu would have gone and destroyed the entire planet. And if Goku remains dead, a lot of stuff would have changed. But one thing that would change about Vegeta is that he'll be more determined to train and make himself stronger. After seeing that he was no match for Majin Buu and that Goku could go Super Saiyan 3, he'll probably try his best to achieve Super Saiyan 3 or even try to get a lot more stronger than he was inside the Buu Saga. Now when it comes to Dragon Ball Super, one thing that would change is that Goku's family wouldn't be rich. The only reason why they were rich was because they gave Mr. Satan the money for defeating Kid Buu. And because of that, Mr. Satan felt that Goku deserved his money so he came down and gave Goku like millions of dollars and therefore his family was rich. Now when it comes to Battle of God, once when Beerus gets up, he would want to go to find the Super Saiyan God legend. But then, knowing that Goku's dead, he wouldn't bother to go visit a dead Saiyan just to see a Super Saiyan God. He'd be like, oh, this guy's dead, forget it, let's go straight to Earth and let's see if Vegeta knows anything about this Super Saiyan God. So once when Beerus gets to Earth, King Kai would have warned Vegeta that, watch out, Beerus is coming to Earth and that he's going to destroy the entire planet if you tick him off, so make sure he's at peace at all times. So Vegeta would have done everything he can just to make Beerus be in peace. And then once when Beerus get there, he would ask Vegeta if he knows anything about Super Saiyan God and Vegeta doesn't know. Weasel rub it in his face and I told you it was just a little myth, you didn't listen to me. And then they would enjoy the earth food and go right back home. The only reason why Beerus lost his temper inside the Battle of God and decided to attack everyone was because 
Majin Buu didn't share any pudding cup. And if there's no Buu, no need to fight over pudding cup. So having said that, if Beerus never fought any of the Z Warriors, Vegeta would have not gained the respect he got from Boma when he stepped up for her saying Seeing how Beerus slapped his wife, it really ticked Vegeta off. If there's no Majin Buu, Beerus wouldn't get so pissed off and he would not go and start attacking the entire Z Warriors. Another thing we'll miss is that we would not know how a Super Saiyan God looks like because Beerus would have gone right back to his planet and he wouldn't bother about the Super Saiyan God legend. And another thing we'll miss is we would not see a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan because the only way you could achieve Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan is from achieving Super Saiyan God in the first place, then you could achieve Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. But if they never achieved Super Saiyan God, they would not even go Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan and Whis wouldn't train Vegeta. The only reason why Whis agreed to train Vegeta and Goku was because of Goku. After seeing how Goku fought Beerus and how Beerus had a little liking to Goku and his personality, Whis decided to help Goku and help Vegeta by training them just so then they could be strong enough to fight Beerus again. And now having said that, if Whis never trained Vegeta, then when Frieza comes back to Earth, by the time when Rival F happens, Frieza would have gone and easily killed the entire Z Warriors and he would have killed Vegeta and then from there Frieza would have destroyed the entire Earth and that's where Dragon Ball Z would have ended with Frieza killing them and Frieza would have probably lived long enough until Beerus meets Frieza and he would have gone and killed Frieza. This is what I believe would have happened if Gohan decided to kill Super Buu. This is how it will affect the entire Dragon Ball Z timeline. That is all three people. Let me know your thoughts of what you think would have happened if Gohan killed Super Buu and how you think this would have changed Dragon Ball Z. Come to think of it, it was a great decision what Gohan did to toy with Super Buu not kill him because if he killed him, pretty much this would have happened to Dragon Ball Z and everyone would have died and there would have been no happy ending for Dragon Ball Z. And there would have been no ooh. That was all three people. Let me know your thoughts. If this is anything like my discussion where we talk about, please drop me a like. That would be amazing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I would really appreciate it. I'm Goku T23. Have an insane day, people. Volt weapon deployed.